there are hundreds of thousands of people every single year that come to us. And those are just the people that come to us. There are billions of dollars that are lost every single year. She did have requests, not very cheap, you know, $500 here, 250, 350, you know, it's added up. It's been probably $30,000 over 40 years. Привіт! We've got the beautiful Odessa Opera House behind me here on the shores of the Black Sea. And it's not the only thing that used to lure lots of elderly Americans here at their peril because there was so much scamming going on back in the day with the Ukrainian scammer girls and often quite elderly American gentlemen who didn't know any better and they'd lose lots of money. But obviously some of this still goes on online. Boyekali. So in today's vodcast, I'm going to react to an interesting video on an interesting channel. It's called Social Catfish. And they publish these videos about mainly online scammers. Quite interesting. Today's video is entitled, Man insists his four-year internet relationship isn't a romance scam. Now, with my consulting, I have spoken to many guys over the years who've been scammed, believing that they were in a relationship with a woman either in Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, it can be from anywhere over the world because a lot of these websites that do the PPL, it's called paper letter, for example, they for many years have had something like AI. Basically, they've had software that would try to figure out who the user's ideal girlfriend or wife, future wife is, and they would just try to be that kind of person or they employ very skillful interpreters uh, who basically just write and it can even be guys that they're talking to and they never really interact with the woman who's in the photo or in the videos so yeah they basically have this fantasy online relationship so yeah if you are interested in getting an answer on maybe some sort of online or in-person relationship that you've been having down below in the description is a link to my consulting so let's hit the start button on the video and get it going hi guys my name is martin and I am a engineer with my hobbies are Netflix, motorcycle riding. I have a couple cats I nice really cat. enjoy. So looking at him there, what kind of woman do you think might be good for a guy? He like this, he looks around 60, he's overweight, he's not in good health. His interests are motorbikes and he has the cat. He's actually not living in his own place, he's living in his ex-wife's place, because as we'll find out. Later on, he basically lost a lot of money with this online relationship he's having, so he ended up more or less destitute. But even when he had the money that he's about to lose, or we're about to find out that he lost in the video, what kind of woman do you think would be a good fit for him? And then we'll fast forward in a couple of moments and you'll see who he believed he was in a relationship with. After Martin's second divorce, he decided to give online dating a shot. He created a profile on Ukraine Date and was contacted by many women. So I've been asked many times about this website in particular. I think it's pretty much a syndicated website. Let's uh, create a date. So the website is owned by Cupid Media in Australia, and it actually has many different genres of dating sites, basically to cater to lots of different interests. Wow, there's so many of them here. Asian, Kenyan, Black Cupid, it says, Korean, military, interracial. Well, wow, really, they try to cater to a lot of different niches. Colombians, they have Latin American, Euro. So it seems to focus on Asia, Latin America, and Europe for its dating. So this is a dating site. When I get asked, do I recommend a site or not? Normally, I go through the process of, are you paying for communication on the site? If so, the interests of the site do not align with your interests because basically the longer you stay on there chatting, the more money they're going to make. So yeah, in general, there's no dating site that I actually recommend is the bottom line because I think they're all poor substitutes for coming in person. And that's not to say that no one has ever met their significant other, the love of their life online, but as you'll see, there are big risks. But there was one woman's dating profile that just stood out to him. Her name is Diana. 
I, I saw her on Ukraine Day. Okay, I'm going to stop it there already. The image of the potential match that you had in your head for this guy. Does it align with this image here on the screen? I'd be surprised if it does. And I started talking to her. We, we talked on that platform for a while. She always told me that I was handsome, distinguished. Oh. I always told her that she was beautiful and gorgeous. She's Ukrainian. She speaks Russian. So exactly this guy's ego has been played that he's handsome. This, the image of this beautiful woman is now interested in him. So yeah, you can see how he's got sucked in already. She has done some face modeling. She li likes iPhones. <laughs> Again, she loves iPhones. I love iPhones. Do you want to send me a, an iPhone? We both uh, like to dream. I dream about being her king. She dreams about being my queen. All right, so ready. I, I, this video goes on for a while with all this back and forth with the text messaging, but as you can see, you are my king with a heart emoji. So already you can see he's just being played in the messages. It's a, it, there's probably some sense of loneliness for this guy has or some void that he's trying to fill in this very clearly fantasy relationship straight off of the bat. Uh, but this is how a lot of scammers will work. They will play on the insecurities, the ego, the fantasies of whoever they're talking to become basically the dream fantasy girlfriend. But you're going to pay a pretty penny for this fantasy. Let's just fast forward because the video is pretty long. I use uh, Google Translator. Um, sometimes because it's easier for her to understand Russian than English. Um, so uh, I'm just I'm helping her with that. Okay, so she's just asking for money to go out. So again, it starts with smaller requests. Here she's asking for some money to go out uh, with her friends. So he obliges. Let's go on to maybe just see how much he got done for. Five hundred dollars here, two fifty, three fifty. You know, it's added up. It's been probably thirty thousand dollars over four years. Thirty thousand dollars he's down. This is not even the worst case that I've seen online with guys spending money for a fantasy relationship. Thirty thousand he sent her. Let that sink in. Thirty thousand. On a fantasy. Well, I mean, do you have sympathy for these kind of guys or not? Write me down below in the comments. I get different reactions about this. I have not been able to make enough income to maintain my own place. I actually had to move uh, back to San Diego with my ex-wife, sleep on the patio. Uh, it's just not very pleasant, but... So basically, he is now insolvent, I guess, or he doesn't have any money. So he's ruined his financial capacity to provide for himself with 30K been spent on a fantasy relationship with a photo. It's sad when you see this. It's like a, an illness when certain guys get manipulated like this. So, I mean, it's probably going to happen now that I'm on YouTube, but um, that's a chance I'm taking. Martin has sent so much money to Diana, he is now left with nothing. Yet he still holds on to meeting Diana in person and starting a new life with her. So there you see just how delusional he seems. And most of the cases I came across with my consulting were not this extreme where it's a woman who's half his age and clearly quite attractive and he's 60 out of shape. I mean, this is basically ridiculous, right? Uh, they don't have anything in common culturally. They're on two different sides of the planet. Uh, and this is, of course, in the realm of fantasy, as I pointed out. But often these scams work with women who are maybe not so pretty or so young. It can often be a woman in her 40s. And that's what's being pitched because I've had guys come to me with that. And then it turns out they also got scammed. So it wasn't so ridiculous in terms of the, the way both of them look to start off with. And obviously, they don't have anything in common. Diana claimed this was her brother, but we found multiple images of them kissing all over the internet. It's like they are from either Turkey or Ukraine, but um, they're like living in Dubai or something. So there you go. It's probably her boyfriend that she's passing off as a brother. 
and then with the 30k they're living a very good lifestyle so i'll link the video put the link in the video description really want to watch the whole thing uh because yeah it's just gonna have me repeating myself non-stop if i when i look through these train wrecks of guys who are completely delusional so if you are out of shape fat uh, over 60 disheveled not in the best financial position you don't have many options back home 30 year old ukrainian hotties and i actually think this girl looks a little bit younger than 30 not going to be interested in you not going to be interested she's more likely with a local guy same if it's going to be a neighboring country because the scams are everywhere it's going to be in poland if it's going to be in the baltics if it's going to be in russia if it's going to be in thailand or latin america it's going to be the same thing there's just too big a value gap and cultural gap and geographical gap to make any of this realistic and maybe you met her on a site that's not a ppl or paper letters you're not going to charge for the communication but if you're sending someone online money who you do not have a real physical relationship with my advice is to stop it because the chances of you being in a situation where you're getting scammed is pretty high. So I'm just going to play out the final clip on this video because it gives you an overview of just a lot of the sound points of the type of guys who get scammed. There are hundreds of thousands of people every single year that come to us. And those are just the people that come to us. There are billions of dollars that are lost every single year. That's literally why we do this. We do 52 episodes a year, we could probably do 552 episodes a year if we had the time and resources. Mm -hmm. I'm not downplaying the fact that, you know, you sending money and being in this situation can be embarrassing. Like, I'm sure that it, it will be and it can be. But you are bringing awareness to this. And like the fact that now, you know, moving forward, like, how is this going to change your life? Yeah, but will he? That's the big question. I need to get back to reality. That's mm -hmm. what matters. Um, I, I need to uh, <laughs> need to see a therapist again. Try to work through some shit, you know. Um, I've taken years off of building real relationships, even though they didn't work out over and over and over. Martin's loneliness was just another weakness this person behind this Diana profile exploited. Yeah, I come across these cases. Sometimes I feel compassion, especially if it's a widower, his wife died, he was lonely, and then he gets exploited online for lots of money. Other times it seems to be guys who just want to live a fantasy, like this guy had his ex-wife even took him back in in spite of him like losing all this money. So yeah, it can be a mixed bag, but let me know what you think down below in the comments, whether we should feel compassion here for these kind of situations or as often as is the case, a little bit of schadenfreude from certain commentators. So yeah, definitely online dating, in my opinion, whilst some people do meet, and actually in America, it's now 51% meet online. But in my experience, and actually statistically, there was another video I did, I'll link it up in a card down below in the description, where uh, the research suggests that on Tinder, you will date basically two points down out of 10, both men and women, if you go on to Tinder in general. But I go into that more in that video. So go check that out and basically the best way to meet beautiful women whether they're ukrainian polish uh, latvian moldovan romanian is to come to the country and spend time here learn the local culture build up a local social circle and meet people that way and you can even do a little bit of online dating to supplement that it will help get you dates uh, occasionally it works out with a Tinder match, uh, but that's basically the real formula for success. Living online like this, well, this is not reality. This is just pure fantasy for this guy. And there are a lot of, lot of dangers with using online dating. If you're far away and you're lonely, then you're open to manipulation by unscrupulous scammers. So if you do have questions specific to coming here to Ukraine or about the country or about its ladies or the wider region, I am known as the insider by my clients for here. And down below in the description to this video is a link to my consulting services. And we can jump on a call together and figure out your strategy for this country, Ukraine, or the wider region. So on that note, Dopobachina. Bye-bye from Ukraine.
Pulsar Experience.